many times we have heard about the procedural oriented programming concept uh, that C, Fortran, Algo, COBOL, BASIC are the procedural oriented programming languages. So I have placed a sample code of Fortran 90 program which is finding an area of triangle. So this is how we are going to study in today's lecture what exactly is the procedural oriented programming what are the different programming paradigms available in the market and what exactly is the object oriented programming and along with the functional programming concepts you might have encountered many programming languages like c c++ python java c sharp so the question comes in the mind like which programming language to choose so depending on your problem, what kind of problem you have to solve, based on that you can choose the programming language. What is programming paradigm? It is just the way of how do you write the code. So the most common programming paradigms available in the industry are functional programming, procedural oriented programming and third one is object oriented programming. So if you are familiar with the C program, basic C programming, C is a procedural oriented programming. C++, Java, Python, these are the object oriented programming. So F sharp, Scala, Erlang are the functional programming languages. Other name for procedural oriented programming you can say as in structured programming which is completely based on the concept of calling procedures. Calling procedures means calling functions. You can call a function to solve a problem then that function can also call other function to solve the problem. It follows a top down approach. The best way to think about top down approach or the procedural oriented programming is this. Suppose you want to buy a share of TCS in the stock market. Okay, How do you think about the procedural oriented programming is like this. How the complete IT sector because TCS provides the IT service. So first thing which you can see in top down approach will be like this how the IT sector is performing then you will look for the how Indian economy is performing now you have to take the decisions while buy, buying a share of TCS your decisions might depend on these factors how the complete IT sector is performing then in the in that IT sector what is the economy of India going on how the company is performing based on these factors you can take a decision of buying the share of TCS whereas in bottom-up approach which object-oriented programming follows in that case you have to see from bottom to top so how the company means a small company is performing then how the IT sector is performing then how the Indian economy is performing so you have to go from bottom to top in that case whereas in top-down approach things are from top to bottom like how the complete sector is performing inside the sector how the economy is performing and in that you have to check for the how company is performing this is how you can think of the procedural oriented programming the main example of procedural oriented programming are c fortran cobol basic pascal the next programming paradigm is the object oriented programming now object oriented programming is completely dependent on object for example to understand the concept of object oriented programming uh, you can see a car car is an object which has many properties like a uh, color of the car the brand of the car the size of the car right so these are the properties of the car the methods you can think about car is like apply the brake drive the car on the music okay apply the gear so these are the functions these are the methods of the car object as you can see the car is an object right so I have written the program on the right side where the program is program is printing the student name so at the bottom if you can see integer main we have created the student object there and we are calling object one dot student name is equal to tanish so object one dot student name so here object one is called as an instance of class student class you can assume like a blueprint in which we add the data members and the member functions so data members you can think of as an properties like for example for class car you can add the data members like string brand string color of the car and the functions which you can add for the car car class should be apply the gear in which you have to write the logic void apply the brake in which you will write your own logic 
so member functions are specific functions which should be apply on the object which are performing some kind of action on the object what is the basic difference between procedural programming and object oriented programming paradigm so as we have seen procedural programming completely depends on the procedures or the subroutines are called as an functions whereas object oriented programming is divided into small parts called as object you can call the method of the class using the object in object oriented programming procedural programming does not have any proper way for hiding the data so it is less secure whereas object oriented programming provides data hiding so it is more secure so we are going to see the concept of encapsulation abstraction all those features of object oriented programming which makes the object oriented programming more secure as compared to procedural programming procedural programming follows top down approach and the object oriented programming follows bottom up approach as we have seen top down approach we have to see the complete picture of it sector first while buying the share of tcs then we have to see the economy and then how the company is performing so you you can think of as a big bubble inside that big bubble a small bubble and in that bubble one small bubble again where as in bottom up approach you have to go from bottom to top like you have to think of small problems first then if that is correct then go for the other circle then for the other circle like how company is performing then how sector is performing then how economy is performing and different procedural programming languages are c fortran pascal basic etc whereas object oriented programming languages are c++ python java c sharp these languages support the classes and objects concept difference between functional programming and object oriented programming paradigm now functional programming mainly focus on declarative style means what to solve instead of how to solve whereas object oriented programming focuses on what and how to solve so based on for example to understand the concept of what to solve and how to solve you can think of like if i say a statement i want to buy a big kitchen i am not concerned about about the depth information about that big kitchen so this kind of statement goes on the side of functional programming if i think the same statement a big kitchen with a red color and the height of the kitchen should be high so this kind of statement should goes on the side of object oriented programming so you can see in functional programming we have spoken only a statement like i want a big kitchen how the walls of the big kitchen should be how the things should be placed into the kitchen that's not my concern in functional programming whereas in object oriented programming i have to think everything like how the color of the kitchen should be how the things should be arranged in the kitchen how the pop of that kitchen should look like so all those concerns come with what and how in object oriented programming functional programming supports parallel programming whereas object oriented programming does not so parallel programming means for example in your computer it runs various processes at the same time right so many computers such as laptops and personal desktop uses this programming in their hardware to ensure that tasks are quickly performed in the background parallel programming parallel programming focuses on performing the tasks parallelly different functional programming languages are f sharp scala haskell sml closure whereas different oop languages are c++ python java c sharp so i hope you got the basic idea about the functional programming procedural oriented programming and object oriented programming paradigm and what programming paradigm is it it provides us the way how do we write the code in functional programming it completely focuses on what to solve using the functions right in procedural oriented programming there is a different way of writing the program step by step execution of procedures whereas in object oriented programming you can think of an object and classes so it is a completely different way of writing the programs this is called as programming paradigm in next video we will discuss about the main pillars of object oriented programming which are encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymorphism for new video updates turn on that notification bell icon on the youtube channel uh, somewhere around the name of the channel and thanks for watching me today i hope you have enjoyed the session